Hi everybody, it's the 7th of February and I'm in Franklin, North Carolina. <clears throat> I um, am taking a zero today, um, so I figured I'd review a couple of the items that I carry. A couple people have asked uh, what some of my very favorite items are. So I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not going to go over all the gear that I carry, but uh, let me start out and just cover three or four of them. First one is uh, I always wear a neck gaiter and in this year of COVID safety, it's really handy if I'm passing somebody on the trail to just, uh, you know, mask up. It's not great, but uh, if that's all you can do, uh, that's, that's very helpful. And I've found that uh, most of the people uh, on the trail that one, uh, you know, goes past um, do the same. So that's, that's helpful. Uh, second thing is, um, I always carry a chest pack here, and this one is made by Z-Packs, and even though I'm not using a Z-Packs um, uh, backpack, um, it, it still will, will work if you get the proper clamps. And I just want to talk about some of the things that uh, go in here. This is what I carry, uh, everything I need, sort of my man purse, if you will. So if I'm going in to resupply, I just unclip this and it has my valuables in it, it has my electronics in it, it um, will have my phone in it, it will also uh, carry my battery charger so I can just go into a place, if I'm like going into a restaurant in a normal year, uh, this is what I did two years ago, I just take this, I have everything I need to, to recharge my electronics, I have all my ID, credit cards, cash, etc. and it's right here and it's all in one place. And I carry some very specific things in here that I think may be of interest. And the first one that I want to talk about is just a little Sharpie pen. This is kind of the small size. And here's why I carry the Sharpie pen. Uh, when I was on Katahdin last year, I ran into a young lady and uh, she, she hit me up on something. And that was she had people who were significant to her uh, during her hike. Uh, sign their names on her backpack and so I did that in in 2019 for the last say half of the year that I was out and although that pack is now retired I have it hanging up on on my den as a wonderful memento of all the people that I met that I really wanted to remember and it's interesting to look up and say, oh, that's, that's right, that was that person's trail name, and I, I remember that particular incident. Well, with a Sharpie pen, and especially if you have a Dyneema pack, so this is a Hyperlite, but it worked just fine on my Z-Packs uh, Dyneema pack. And so uh, uh, here I have uh, Lobster. Where's, where's, where's Lobster? There's Lobster. And I hiked part of the AT uh, last year. This is Nancy Ostley, who was a classmate of mine from college, ran into her on the Continental Divide Trail last year, um, just on the side of the trail, had no idea. And Big Sky, with whom I did about 300 miles of the CDT last year. So this is gonna be my memento for uh, 2020, 2021. I want to talk about a couple other things that I carry in here that are just a little different, uh, and, that are, and that is my light sources. I always take two light sources. Uh, I have one as a headlamp, and I had a, I had a black diamond one uh, two years ago, which was fine, but this one is a night core, and I actually got this even with the, with the elastic strap here just to, to uh, reduce weight even further. And this thing is just feather light. And what is really great about this headlamp is that it's USB rechargeable. So you don't have to worry, uh, do you have the right kind of batteries? You know, what, what is the status of your batteries? Do you need to carry extra batteries? And so if you carry a centralized battery, spare battery pack, for example, to charge your phone, you can also recharge your headlamp as necessary. And so you, you sort of have a central repository for power instead of having separate battery packs for, for everything. And the other thing that I really like is this little Nightcore lamp. And my favorite piece of gear in 2019 
was a night eyes uh, little, I, I, I called it a button lamp. And you can see I have a, a micro carabiner on this. And I hang this inside my tent at night and I turn it on and that way I don't have to have my headlamp on if I'm cooking or just arranging my gear, pumping up my air mattress or, or whatever. I have enough light that is sort of 360 degrees around and it's actually more efficient to do it that way because you can see things uh, with your peripheral vision rather than just having to use your headlamp for everything. And this also is, I mean, it's a USB stick. I mean, that's what it is. And it's incredibly lightweight. And so it is also USB rechargeable. So I can recharge it for my central uh, battery pack. So really like this thing. And uh, this is from Nightcore. The other piece of gear that I want to talk about that I've just used uh, this year is something called Porta Wipes. And these are compressed towelettes. So think of them as, uh, you know, like a, like a baby wipe that has no, has no liquid in it at all. So these are incredibly lightweight and they're just little capsules. And uh, I tried them out just, uh, well, really on this trip. And let me show you what one of them looks like. I mean, it's just tiny and it's sort of like a little Alka-Seltzer wafer. And you can just uh, put some water, water in it and it will give you a moist towelette to keep yourself clean, primarily your backside. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a convert for these. And so I got these, you know, a hundred of them. Um, they, they say they're compostable. This is not something, however, that should go in, in a backwoods privy. Um, it's made out of viscose and it's not you know, like true toilet paper. So uh, it should be uh, put in a baggie and you can uh, pack it out, but it's, uh, it's lighter weight than a baby wipe. And uh, using just pure water, I think is actually better. So anyway, those are a few gear items that I think may be of interest, uh, maybe a little non-standard, but things that, uh, that I found to be very useful. Hope you're having a great day.